yo yo what is going on everybody uh it's been a minute but we're back at it with a hot video topic for you today and that is advice for new programmers so i've got five pieces of honestly just great fantastic incredible advice that i want to share with you all today but before we dive into this video first i gotta give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare is awesome because it has all kinds of great classes from productivity to tips for freelancers and even courses on web development. One great thing about Skillshare is that most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. Now a class that I've been taking on Skillshare is Color Correct and Color Grade Like a Pro by Jordi Vandipa so I can learn how to make my videos really pop with color. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, so honestly, who am I to give advice to new programmers? And that's a good point. This advice actually comes from you guys. So a few months ago, I put out a question on my community tab asking, what is your biggest piece of advice for programmers old or new? And you guys had some terrific responses. So I picked out my top five favorite that I wanna share today and uh, kind of give my insight for each one of these uh, pieces of advice. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first uh, piece of advice comes from a user named Peko and they said, learning by doing will get you far. And honestly, I can't agree more with this. I think at some point consuming content just becomes counterintuitive. Now, I never really struggled with this, but there's this idea of tutorial hell I think that's such a stupid name, but whatever. Basically, it's this perpetuating loop where no matter how much content you consume, you never feel like you're ready to break that loop and start working on your own projects. So here's the thing. Uh, when first writing code, you're not doing rocket science. At least, you're not doing rocket science at first. You're probably starting with like a website, with a mobile app, with game dev, or maybe some like desktop application. So you really shouldn't be scared to start working on your own projects and failing I guess because failure and and coming across bugs and issues and getting stuck is the best way to kind of really hammer idea and concepts in your mind so yeah consuming content is good but at some point you got to break from that and just dive into your own projects when I learn something new I try to inform myself I guess with the bare minimum to get my project started and I maybe dive into some uh, basic concepts but that's it I inform myself with the bare minimum and I start working on my own idea. If you watched my most recent video, learning React Native in five days, I kind of demonstrate that. I learned the basics of React Native and then I instantly just dived into making my own project. So that's what works for me. That's how I learn the best. So I cannot agree with this idea more. Uh, learning by doing will definitely get you far. Here's another comment which was pretty popular uh, and that is if you think about quitting because it's overwhelming, don't. We've all been there and if you continue learning, you will definitely make it. And this comes from EDRAQ. And yeah, we've all been there. I have a video where I talk about this idea of the Dunning-Kruger effect in relation to programming where when you first start out, you uh, feel like you're learning a lot and, and then you kind of hit this peak and you plateau and to this really overwhelming state where you realize the more you learn, the more you just don't know about uh, programming and the coding world. And yeah, it's easy to get overwhelmed and sometimes give up when you realize how far you have to go. But if you can withstand this initial uh, oh shit phase, you'll be fine in the long term. Because to be honest, this, uh, this feeling of being overwhelmed by having to learn so much it's gonna happen again. Even still, at times in my career, I get overwhelmed. But it's just part of the game. Uh, you learn to push through it, and at some level, you become numb to new challenges. When I was brand new to my coding career, I, I used to get really stressed out that I wasn't gonna be able to uh, finish a task or a feature or a work ticket that was assigned to me. But the thing is, you always do, and even if you don't, there's somebody on the internet that has. 
All right, so the next uh, tip is from React Nerd, and this was one of my favorites. It is try your best not to guess to make it work, but take the time to understand it. It will save you time later on. And I totally agree with this idea. I think this was maybe one of my biggest downfalls when first learning how to code. I was kind of on a copy and paste spree when I realized I could just Google for my problem, and somewhere on the internet, there was a solution. Being a programmer in 2021 is basically like being an internet detective. You Google for your problem. If it's not on Stack Overflow, if it's not in a GitHub ticket, if it's not on like a Medium article, it is somewhere in some dark corner of the internet. Anyways, that was a bit of a tangent, but yeah, uh, when I first started coding, when I first started learning it, uh, I, would, I would Google for my problem and I would occasionally come across a solution uh, and I, I would copy it, I would paste it into my program, change a few variables, and it worked. And I wouldn't take the time, the necessary time, to really dive through each line of code to understand what it was doing. I've briefly talked about this in previous videos, but when learning how to code, you really need to take the time and make sure you understand everything that is going on. Slow down, there's no rush. Read through the code, make sure you understand uh, exactly what's happening. And yeah, this might come with a balance sometimes, especially when you're first starting out, you'll be reading through some code blocks and just some stuff won't make sense. But at some point in the future, it will click, probably uh, at the worst possible time at like 3 a.m. You'll have that aha moment, but it's gonna happen. All right, so the next point here is, don't stay stuck on the basics for too long. Learn the fundamentals, OOP, gain competency, and then move on to the next thing. Also, research the jobs in your area. You might pick up a stack that just doesn't work for your area of the world. So in regards to not getting stuck on the basics for too long, I personally think you should really nail down the basics and fundamentals. But their second point is the one that I really like, which is research jobs in your area. You might pick a stack that just doesn't work for your area of the world. And I really like this piece of advice because if you're just getting into programming and you're still unsure of what uh, language you should learn or what tech stack you should uh, pick up, research the jobs in your area and kind of just work off of that. A lot of new programmers are unsure of where to start. It's like the question that I probably get asked the most. It's like, what language should I learn? What tech stack should I learn? I've said it before, uh, but your first tech stack definitely won't be your last. But figuring out what's popular in your area, this is a great place to start. And for the last tip, and I kind of saved this one for last because uh, honestly, this piece of advice can be applied to not only coding, but any avenue of your life. And it comes from AR Technology, and they say, do daily exercise, eat healthy, learn every day, health is very important. Now I can fully attest the idea of like taking care of my physical well-being, uh, working out, eating moderately healthy has translated into me uh, just being a better dev, to be honest. And the reason for that is when I take care of myself, when I go to the gym, when I eat healthy, when I am properly rested, I feel like I am so much better at my job. I feel like I'm able to pick up on concepts easier. I'm able to learn quicker and uh, I just have more energy throughout the day. And burnout is so popular in tech. It is so important to put your physical well being and your mental health before code or anything else. And I know I said that was my last, but I have a bonus for you guys, which is from Alvin. The first two points are great, uh, but the third one give a man a program, you'll frustrate him for a day teach a man to program, you'll frustrate him for a lifetime. When I first read that, I kind of laughed. Uh, it was more of a, like a, a, I blew air out of my nose kind of laugh, like a, right? I've never heard that one before, but as a programming joke, that's a solid five out of 10, and you can't really get higher than that with programming jokes. Anyways, thank you all for your responses. We had some solid pieces of advice. Let me know if you have any more pieces of advice you wanna share in the comments below. Thank you so much for sticking around this long. If you did, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.